for geology. It's friendship day. Time for generosity. I can't wait to be there. Yes, we will have so much fun. And I won't have to listen to you singing anymore. It's friendship, friendship day. day. Oh. Time for cordiality. It's friendship day. Time for cordiality. Happy friendship day. But, Master, that was a gift. Today is Friendship Day. You will never be my friend. Do you think a rotten little cadaver could seal our friendship? And I couldn't care less about this celebration. It's a waste of time. Like it could touch the sun. This Friendship Day party will be fantastic. Hurry up. The others will be here soon. Others? But I wasn't invited, was I? Come back here, you thief. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch this. I won't tell. I didn't hear a thing. But we have to start all over again. So you were trying to steal our bananas, you smelly badger? I'm not a smelly badger, and I just wanted to borrow a banana or two. Borrow a banana or two? It's supposed to be friendship day today, right? Yes, but you surely don't imagine I'd ever want to be friends with a badger. You were not invited to our celebration. You smell too awful, you hairy thing. Go play with your smelly friends. And you put that stack of bananas up again. Oh. So, you weren't invited either. Go away! Easy. You and I are on the same team, you know. Oh, yeah? Which one is that? The ones who weren't invited. What's that supposed to mean? It's always been like that. They chase us badgers away because of our smell. Clear off! What a shame. I had a super plan to teach these monkeys a lesson. So, what's your super plan? Block the monkeys' access to bananas and force them to obey us. Mmm. They'll be very sorry they didn't invite us to their rotten party. <laughs> <laughs> it's friendship day, time for cordiality. It's friendship day, time for generosity. What's the matter? It's got into my head now. That was very clever of you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's swing it! Do, 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 do. So, you're ready? Ready to show those monkeys what you're made of? Yeah! So, when I say three... Everyone in position! Yeah! Oh, I said on three! <laughs> wow! Security, I have to check your identity. We've had trouble with banana thieves. Hey, it's us, Baloo, Bagheera and Mowgli. <gasps> Security barrier crashed! Red alert! I don't want to see this! I won't say anything! I didn't hear a thing! A reach it for himself! Are those badgers blocking off the banana pyramid? Or am I dreaming? Why are you doing this? We work for our boss! Your boss? Me! These are our bananas! This is our friendship party and... You are not invited. If you want to recuperate any bananas... You'll have to do us some favours. I'm the one who had that idea. You call that an idea? Turn us into your slaves? You're both completely crazy. If that's how it is, we're taking those bananas back ourselves! Something, you useless creatures! My bananas! These badgers are not useless creatures! Do something, Harjeet! Can't you see the tabaki is using you and the badgers? Are you insinuating that I'm incapable of commanding alone? Badgers, give your all! Give even what you don't have! <gasps> That's up to me to decide! Shut up, you jackal! You've said enough! <laughs> <laughs> You prepare to fire the deadly stench! One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh. 
Prisoners. <laughs> it's impossible to get out of here. Let us out! We should all be having a party instead of fighting. You should have thought about that earlier. You are all prisoners now, and that's that. Master Tabaki's orders. No, those orders were from Master Haji. What's that? Isn't Tabaki our master? I think I know a way to get everything back to normal. Shia Khan! We can't just give up like this. We have to do something. I never thought I'd be riding on a panther one day. Don't forget that it's only because it was an emergency. Come on, Baloo! You can do it! If we attack from the south, we could take them by surprise and we'll find Masha. Shere Khan! You've run straight into the tiger's mouth. That's very nice of you. I've come to ask for your help. Help? Why should I help you when you have delivered yourself to me? And I'm dying to eat you and hear your bones crack under my fangs. Because your jackal thinks he's the king of the jungle. He reigns over the monkeys, the badgers, Baloo and Bagheera. He's taking your place as the king of the jungle. I don't believe a word of what you say. He couldn't even catch a maggot by himself. Come and see for yourself. If you don't believe me, your ridiculous, servile tabaki is becoming the master of the jungle. Hajit! <laughs> I'm hungry. Go fetch me a tasty meal. Who do you think you are, my boss? You're just a loser. You can never be a leader unlike me. You must be joking. You can't even defend yourself. This cute little jackal always needs his daddy, Shere Khan. Right then. <laughs> The path is clear! You can come out! I've always wanted to eat a badger, and how convenient! I've just sharpened my claws. As you're the boss, it's up to you to protect us! Uh, no. They're the plotters. I had nothing to do with this. They forced me. Associating with badgers? Haven't you learned anything from me? Traitor! I forbid you from insulting my servant. I insult whoever I want. Oh, this is his fault. Everyone hates us now, when all we wanted was to be invited to the Friendship Day party. The badgers weren't invited to the party? Uh, uh well, no, they weren't. They smell too awful, Mowgli. <laughs> Thank you for helping us. That was true teamwork. We all helped each other, just as we should on Friendship Day. I promise I'll never make fun of your smell again. Well, anyway, I'll try. And for everything you've done, you are our guests of honor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's Friendship Day! Time for generosity! I'll bet Tabaki isn't having as much fun as we are right now! <laughs> the only 
tradition after all. Don't worry, my little twig. I'll be very careful. The west wind won't get the better of me. Your daddy Ravi will be back soon. He's gone to find a lucky plant to celebrate your birth. The White Cliff? Where the west wind blows all the time? Where you birds hardly ever go because it's too dangerous. It was to protect and bring luck to our egg. Ravi insisted on going, but he should have been back by now. <gasps> Ravi was maybe injured on the way. We've got to find him quickly and bring him back. We're going to need Cheel's help. Cheel, Vera and myself are going to fly to the White Cliff. I can't leave my egg on its own. But you're connected to Ravi. If we want to find him, we've got to use your instincts. Mowgli's right. Only you can feel his presence from kilometers away. Exactly. That's why Baloo is going to keep your egg warm. Huh? What? Oh, no. No, no. Come on, Baloo. We jungle kings will help. Have no fear. We will come to do you good. Through the nettles or through the mud. Why don't we ask Bagheera? Baggy's gone hunting. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Baloo, you can't fly. Or be carried on my back. However, you have soft, warm fur. Ravi and Vera's egg would be really comfy, cuddled up against you. Give me the egg. You're a marvelous bear. Happy hatching, Baloo! How's an old bear like me going to keep you warm without crushing you? You're so fragile. Baloo's changed into a bird. He's hatching out eggs now. <laughs> I order you to give me that egg. It belongs to Vera and Ravi. If you want it, you'll have to catch it. Give me that egg, Masha. It's Ravi and Vera's. I've got to keep it warm. <laughs> you hatching out an egg? <laughs> I'm not joking. Give me that egg. Never. You know what? I'm going to eat mm -hmm. it. Thanks to that egg, I'll have eternal youth. What utter nonsense. If you eat that egg, you'll just have a stomach ache. It's about to hatch. But Darcy said that if a monkey eats a newly laid egg, he or she becomes forever young. No, that's not it at all. I explained to Darcy that our eggs were the future youth of the jungle and that we should protect them from being eaten. Not that we should eat them to become young. That's utter nonsense. <laughs> Get my egg of eternal youth! <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, 
little twig. We'll come and get you. Don't move. should have gone. You're right. It wasn't a good idea to fly in that kind of wind, my little twig. We ought to go. That wind can still give us some nasty surprises. <laughs> Those make you sneeze. They would do. It's mustard. Can you take a sprig, Mowgli? That way I won't have come for nothing. We'd be scared of the White Cliff. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't know us very well. The egg! Give us the egg! <laughs> ah! You should have told me. I love family reunions. <laughs> Did you hear that? Baloo? Quick, Chew! What shall we do? I don't know! Now it's just the two of us, my big balloon. I don't want to see this. It's too cruel! Move <laughs> away, Baloo! To find that stupid plant, I don't see what's so lucky about it. <sighs> it's not magic that makes this plant lucky. <laughs> Mustard irritates cats' nostrils because they've got a very good sense of smell. <laughs> That's why it protects our newborn. It's not just a superstition. <laughs> Thank you for looking after our egg, Baloo. Don't mention it. It was what I promised. Little egg! <laughs> if you have fleas and scratch your rear, we jungle kings will help, have no fear. We will come to do you good, through the nettles or through the mud. We're looking for a stick with that shape. Okay, Baloo. That's easy. I'll find that in no time. Oh, uh, 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 what shape was it again? We should find one quickly. The river's washed up lots of dead wood. Look at this one. It's a funny shape. 
We're not looking for something funny, Mowgli. We're looking for something useful. Right. I must concentrate. A stick shaped like a maggot! That's it. Eat it. There'll be more for me when I eat you later. It's okay. I found one. Well done, Bagheera. There's a drought in the wolves' territory, and this'll help me find underground spring. I don't know what yours is good for, apart from scratching your back. <laughs> Ow! Who threw that back? You did! <laughs> but how did you manage to throw it from over there? It's magic! Magic? I don't think so, but I wonder why it does that. Maybe it's because of its shape. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Baloo, the thing is to make it spin really fast. Wow! Mowgli, champion thrower! And you could have been champion panther knocker-outer if Bagheera hadn't ducked. Come on, Darzy. Come to me so I can gnaw. Did you know I could do magic? Mowgli! Sure, and I'm Shere Khan's brother-in-law. Stick, I order you to return! It's true! It's magic! <laughs> Rana, are you okay? C can you multiply yourself too? Uh, Mowgli hasn't got any special powers, Rana. It's the shape of the stick that makes it come back when you throw it. What a stupid joke. Oh! If your stick is only good for playing nasty tricks, it would be better if you got rid of it. It's Rana who's got no sense of humor. And you must admit that because of the stick, he had lots of nuts to eat. Baloo's right, Mowgli. Hey, Hita! Look what I found! It's not for a joke, it's to show her. Ugh. Wow! It's the shape... Uh, the shape of Mowgli that makes <laughs> Mowgli always come back to the same place. <laughs> you no longer need to tire yourself out collecting them. Ooh. That stick's great. Can I try it? Look how you threw that! <laughs> oh! That's not very nice, Mowgli. You didn't even tell me how to throw it. I didn't mean it like that, Hita. You'll see. You just need to practice a bit. Thanks for the present! Hey! <laughs> Give me back my stick! Since when does a man cub tell monkeys what to do? Give me that stick, you. Listen, Mowgli, your stick causes too much trouble. You really should break it in two and throw it away. No, I can't break it, Baloo. And it makes great music, too. And as you say, you can use it to scratch your back. Mowgli oh. could maybe keep it if he's careful. It isn't to punish Mowgli, Bagheera. It's because soon all the jungle will be fighting to get that stick. You're not going to break it? And you're not going to stick close to Mowgli all day. You're right, Darcy. It's stupid to break such a great stick. I'll play with it when there's no one around. Good idea, Mowgli. Baloo will be pleased. No, Darcy. We mustn't tell him. I know how to separate Darcy from her friends. There are some really poor hiding places, don't you think so? Hey! My stick! Don't worry, Mowgli. I'll hide somewhere much higher. Give me that back, Kalu! Hey! The thief! I'm going to tell! How's this 
this for a hiding place. <laughs> Kalu stole the stick that Mowgli hid. What do you mean, that Mowgli hid? There's no point getting angry. He wasn't going to tell you. It's a secret. Better and better. Leave the bone, Shere Khan, and come and eat at my place. On the menu, there's Little Bird for me and Man Cub for you, my master. Mowgli. <laughs> Those are Kalu's, all right. And Mowgli was here too. Kalu must be preparing some kind of dirty trick. Let's go to his nest. Ah! Don't worry. Everything's fine. <sighs> Yay! As you said, yay. Shere Khan! Bagheera! You've lost this time, man cub! My plan worked well. Now they're all occupied. You've had it too. <laughs> There's no way out, Mowgli. <laughs> I'm fine. We've got to help Mowgli. Shere Khan, if you dare lay a claw on Mowgli... Here, Mowgli! Darcy, you're fantastic! I know. The others often tell me that I'm very intelligent. Except that then, I don't know why, they laugh. <laughs> Do you think hitting me with a stick will make me fall? It's not just for hitting with, Shere Khan. Baloo, catch this! Pull the Liana taut. He... he's not going to do that! I stick for lots of things. <laughs> My stick! Kalu, you stupid crew! I'll get you for this! Don't mention it, Shere Khan. I'm sorry, Mowgli. We've looked everywhere. I can't understand it. Someone must have stolen it. It doesn't matter, Mowgli. You'll find another one. But of course! There must be others near the river. I'm coming with you. And this time I won't tell Baloo that you're going to hide it. <laughs> well done, Baloo. I should have kept my mouth shut. 